is blended. I am pretty much ready for the day. I just need to put on some clothes. But I feel like this week is going to be a good one. I'm officially in get my life together mode. Even though I'm not going back to school, I'm still feeling like that new beginning feeling that I often get. Well, I always get at this time of the year. So I thought it'd be an interesting week to vlog. You can see me try and uh, get some things off my to-do list that I've maybe been putting off doing some adulting. Before we get into it though, I do want to say a huge thank you to the Toronto Star for sponsoring today's video. I've been using the Toronto Star to stay a little bit more informed on what's going on in the world and on issues that I care about. So yeah, I'll talk a little bit more about that though later on this week at some point. Right now though, my mission is to drink this guy, put on clothes, and start the day. Welcome to Hashtag Planner Monday, everyone. Today we're talking about pencil cases because, you know, why? Let's go! The morning was spent working on Instagram stuff, but for the next part of the day, I'm going to be planning out a new bullet journal video, and whenever I plan or have a new bullet journal video to do, I start off by doing rough sketches on my iPad through the Procreate app. This is my Apple Pencil and this case is from Amazon. I always get lots of questions about it. I think it was like 10 bucks or something. Not very expensive, but it is really nice for this pen in particular. Not only because it gives you extra grip, but because it keeps the, the, the what is it called? The back part that comes off, the little thing that comes off so you can charge it. It keeps it attached in one place. So I don't have to worry about losing it, which I feel like without it, I would definitely lose that that cap. I better get started and also get the tunes going so that this is a more pleasing adventure. It's a few hours later and I'm still planning out spreads and my brain is going a little crazy at this point. So I feel like I need a change of task and I think that task is going to be meal planning for the week. Although meal prepping isn't the most fun thing in the world to do, it definitely does help, especially when I go to the grocery store, I know what ingredients to get. Also throughout the week, I have an idea of kind of what meals I could make. I don't always follow it to a T, um, but at least the ideas are there so that I can look at them and kind of figure out, okay, well, let me look at all the dinner ideas I came up with. Let's do this for dinner uh, or this for lunch. And that, that kind of helps me not eat out all the time. And let me tell you, the temptation to eat out is always there when you live downtown in a city. Definitely not the most aesthetically pleasing board I've ever put together, but it will do the job. Instead of specifically planning out each day, I just decided to give some general ideas, so this will do. It's my tripod that you were just on. Let's get that out of the way. about how cute this mug is. Now that groceries are done, I'm gonna do a little bit of a morning routine while I'm having my coffee before getting into work. In my How to Read More video, I had talked about how I like to have a reading session in my morning routine because I just feel like that's a really great way to start the day. Um, so trying to get that in right now, I am currently reading Sell It Like Sirhant by Ryan Sirhant. I'm almost done this one, it's been a bit of a slower one just because I don't feel like my reading sessions have been as chunky lately. In addition to reading books, I've also been trying to read a little bit more news coverage lately because it is an election year here in Canada and I do not feel like I know enough about nearly enough. I was raised to really appreciate the value of my own vote. So it is something that's really important to me and one of the ways that I find I, I feel more empowered when heading to the polls is when I feel educated and informed. But honestly, throughout the past four years, all I've really relied on it for news coverage is trending hashtags on the internet. So the Toronto Star has become one of the resources that has been keeping me a little bit more up to date 
with the happenings of the world and they are actually offering post-secondary students free access to the Toronto Star until October 31st. If you have a post-secondary email address, you can check out the link in the description box below. Click it, sign up using that email address, and you'll get your free access. Obviously, this video is sponsored by the Toronto Star, but I think this is an awesome offer to be providing young people to hopefully get them out in the polls, get us out in the polls. I'm a young person too, uh, in October. And I have the app on my phone and my iPad, so it makes on the go reading easy too which i know is a huge plus for students who do not have extra time in the day i feel ya it is a lot <laughs> i'm feeling like i seriously need a dose of motivation in my life right now so i also think i'm gonna tackle let that shit go maybe get it going today i also talked about this in my how to read more video um these are two books that were on my reading list it feels good to be tackling them crossing them off and stuff what was this nobody knows okay i'm gonna do a little bit more reading and get going need more coffee that's what I need. I just got back from a quick coffee with Maddie, hence the reason I'm in a new outfit. But I think right now I'm going to wash my makeup brushes. I have been meaning to wash my makeup brushes for a scary amount of time. I genuinely don't remember the last time I did this. Um, it's horrible. I know you're supposed to wash your makeup brushes so regularly. It's really good, especially if you deal with acne, which I do, uh, to keep them clean. And yet, so we're, we're fixing that situation today. My makeup brushes are currently all in this beautiful jar waiting to be washed. I think this is like a candle holder that I got from Chapters years ago. Uh, but these are all gross and they're gonna be super, super clean. Let's do it. Oh. pretty when they're all clean honestly I'm ashamed to say that took like 20 minutes too there's really no excuse for me having waited this long not to do this and at least they're done now one of my favorite brushes right now is this one from real techniques such a great eyeshadow brush and I also love this one from Real Techniques. This is like the one that everyone uses for like all-purpose powders I use this for putting on translucent powder on my face This is the situation right now. I've got the filming set up, ready to go. I'm using a laundry basket to hold up one of my reflectors. And my cart's looking a little chaotic. My middle tray also went down. bit more terrifying right now if you can't tell I just put on a face mask I'm using the deep clean purifying cleanser slash mask from Neutrogena they had sent this to me uh, a while back and I've been loving it I felt like I needed a mask because I have been at this desk all day after I finished filming the video I started editing so I probably am gonna be editing for another few hours tonight even though I work from home I feel like I don't take the time to do a face mask as much as I really should it's like literally no one seeing me and yeah I don't take advantage of this opportunity so having a little self-care action in the middle or at the end of my work day <laughs> whoopie doo doo yeah. I feel like I'm looking a lot more human, so that's nice. I realized over the past few months I haven't really had an opportunity to sit down and just chat with you since my university experience video. I've gotten a lot of questions, especially on Instagram, about how the transition has been to full-time YouTube. And lately I just feel like I've been on autopilot mode the whole summer. I've just been concerned with getting a lot of back to school content filmed and that's kept me super busy. And I feel like really the real test is gonna be happening around now. September is the start of the school year for many Canadians and I have friends that are coming back to the city. My brother's coming back for his second year of university. So I just feel like I really need to be disciplined with my routine because uh, with people around the city more it means that there's more opportunities to get a little sidetracked 
Um, so that's kind of like my focus is just figuring out a routine that works so that I have good balance uh, between work and also social. It's always been something I, I think is super important, especially because the job that I do is involves me staying at home most of the day. So I think prioritizing getting out and having that social interaction is good. It just needs to be in a way that also allows me to be productive during the week too. I have really been liking the fact that I get to spend more time on the videos though. I hope you guys have been liking the animation elements I've been introducing to the channel. I've been doing a lot of stuff with my Apple Pencil with the Procreate app. I've talked about that before but um, yeah it's been something I've really like added to my editing routine and it is so much fun. <laughs> Today is another filming day, so I'm ready to film. I just need to change my outfit and get a load of laundry in. Yay! <laughs> laundry is absolutely my least favorite thing in the world to do, and I usually procrastinate it until I'm down to my last one or two pairs of underwear. It's not a good look. Today, though, is not one of those days. I'm going to do laundry before it gets to that point. Wow, look at me go. I feel like that's so responsible of me. Um, so that is what I'm currently doing, transferring things from the hamper to the laundry basket. It's really hard to film this. There's also dirty clothes in here, so it's not the most visually pleasing sight. You may notice that I am tossing all of the colors and the whites together because in my building, it costs like I think $3 to do laundry. So I am not paying to separate colors from whites. <laughs> I just kind of jumble it all together and run it on cold water and I have not ruined anything yet. Not gone wood. I just wrapped up filming and it's noon, which is rare for me to be done filming by noon so i'm feeling really good <laughs> laundry done video done i'm gonna do i think a shoot for an instagram photo then i'm gonna have lunch and then editing more editing must edit with you guys yet here on the YouTube channel I have on Instagram but this is Wilma my snake plant she's my first plant and I actually have two others on their way to my apartment not snake plants but other just general plants I feel like I just want to experiment with actually keeping real-life plants alive and I've heard snake plants or one of the nicknames for this plant is mother-in-law's tongue that they are really easy to care for or they're pretty low maintenance so so far She's doing okay. She's got a little bit of dry tips and I just removed some dead leaves, but I see a new a new leaf budding over there, so I think things are going well. I'm trying my hardest here. I feel so good about this week. I feel like it was really productive on the work end, but also productive in the getting life things done and <laughs> laundry was done, makeup brushes were cleaned, water filters were changed that should have been changed a month ago. So even though this vlog was mostly in my apartment. I feel like I needed it because it really encouraged me to get those things that I've been putting off done. I want to send another big thank you to the Toronto Star for sponsoring today's video. Once again, I'll just remind you to check out the link in the description box below so that you can sign up to the Toronto Star and get your free online access until October 31st. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already. And let me know in the comment section down below if there's something that is on your to-do list that you've been putting off. I mean, I still have some items to check off my list, but this was a really good first push. I'm gonna spend some time on this couch just watching movies uh, because I feel like I deserve it. But I will see you all very soon with a new video. And until then, bye everyone.